Now let me get started and show you the different methods that can help resolve the issue. So, without further ado, let us jump right into it. Method 1. Check the status of the Battlefield 2042 server. It's possible that the problem is on the server's end, and you'll have to address it before you can play again. Wait a day if you were going to play the game when the error occurred because it's most likely a bug that hasn't been reported before trying any troubleshooting. However, if this is your first time running the game or you've been absent for some time, the problem could be with you. Method 2. Close Origin and EA Processes. First of all, go ahead and close your game. Then, open up the Task Manager. To do that, right-click on the Windows icon on your taskbar and then choose Task Manager from the menu that appears. Now, on the Processes tab, locate Origin, EA, EA Background Service and EA Desktop Processes. Select each process one by one and then click the End Task button at the bottom right corner. Once you have done that, open up the EA app again on your computer. Launch Battlefield 2042 and see if the problem is still there. Method 3. Restart Computer or Console Method 4. Set Origin Client Service to Automatic Go to Services, right-click on the Start button to open the Winx menu, select Run, type services.msc in the Run box which opens then Windows Services Manager, and find Origin Client Service on Put it on Automatic and hit Apply. It'll probably be on manual. Method 5. Configure your DNS servers appropriately. For the PlayStation 4 navigate to Settings in the main menu. Navigate to Internet Settings, Network and Internet, Custom depending on the sort of connection you're using. Choose LAN for cable and Wi-Fi for wireless. You should change custom IP address settings to automatic. Do not mention DHCP hostname. Manual DNS settings should be entered with 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 .4 as primary and secondary DNS addresses respectively. Automatic MTU settings should be choose it, and proxy server should be ignored. Restart the PlayStation 4 after you've saved your game data. For the PlayStation 5 accessible via the Start menu click on Configure, Network, Internet Connection, add a new DNS record, manually configure greater than LAN or Wi-Fi. In the DNS configuration section, click on Enter 8.8.8.8 .8 as your primary DNS server address, and 8.8.4.4 .4 should be used as the secondary DNS. For Xbox One press the Xbox button and select Setup from the main menu. Select Network from the drop-down menu and choose Manual Configuration. Enter 8.8.8.8 .8 as your primary DNS server address and 8.8.4.4 .4 should be used as the secondary DNS. For a personal computer open the Windows settings by pressing Windows key I select Internet and Networking from the Settings menu. Go through Change Adapter Settings from the Network and Internet menu. Right-click on the Network and choose Properties from the Shortcut menu. Click Properties on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4. Toggle to fill up the Google DNS server addresses, which are 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 .4 for primary as well as secondary, respectively. Click the OK button to confirm your action. Method 6. Clear Origin Cache. First of all, open up the Run dialog box by pressing Windows key R on your keyboard. Type in percent program data percent in the run dialog box and hit the enter key. In the program data folder, locate and open up the origin folder. Now, inside the origin folder, delete all the files and folders except local content. Once you have done that, open up the run dialog box again by pressing Windows key R. This time around, type in percent app data percent and hit the enter key. Now in the roaming directory, locate the origin folder and delete it completely. After that, in the address bar, click on App Data to move to the App Data folder. There, open up the local directory and inside of it, look for the Origin folder. Delete the Origin folder. After doing that, go ahead and perform a system restart. Once your computer boots up, log in to Origin and open up the game to see if the issue still persists.